Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here. We're back. Oceanoko Season 2, Episode 6. Last time was an amazing episode for me. Um, We had Aqua kind of divulge what like, his nefarious plans is to Akane and her being like, I would help you do it if you basically like if you, if you ask i'll help <laughs> so he had that but um all this culminates to goodness gracious all this culminated to um i'm skipping past everything because i'm excited to see the play it culminates to us ending at the beginning of the play so where we got to see the opening of like the play the introductions of all the different characters in episode one we are now at the start of the play so I'm just excited to see how that's going to go. Aqua is currently struggling because he's leaning on emotional acting, but he's still having these like violent reactions and it, and he's struggling with it, but he's going to, he's pushing through. So let's see how it goes. Episode six. Boy, oh boy. We're here. I would actually love to see a play like this. Dude, the makeup team did an incredible job. He looks just like that that character. <laughs> I would I might have to look up um these play like plays like these. I might have to. <laughs> There's our boy. <laughs> they look really cool. Like half of me wishes I could just watch the play. <laughs> And not an episode of Oceanoko. <laughs> There's half of me that wants to experience this play in its entirety. But then the other half of me does want to see like behind the scenes stuff. So like I would love to see like someone go off the stage and then see what they're doing in the back until they have to come back on. I'd like to see that. I, don't, I wonder if they'll cut away or if this episode's just going to be this. Oh, the stage is crazy how deep it is. My gosh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I hear Kana. This guy, he completely transformed into this character. It's crazy. You see the little microphone. Oh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. That was a cool reveal. <laughs> Why is it always like that in these series? You're just <laughs> picking up people all along the way. <laughs> You know, it's funny enough, like if the, what they're showing us from the play, like there's probably more scenes and whatnot that we don't get to see. I don't think the whole play is going to fit into 22 minutes. I see the issue that they were saying about giving like Princess Saya more to do because it feels like we have to get going, 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 going. We've seen like two or three different like s set changes and and encounters and we've yet to see her. So I could, weirdly enough, you could see that. Just from what they've selected to show us. Yeah, act one. It's like they did all of Act One, and if I'm just taking it at face value, like, oh, okay. Okay. That's a really good, that image is really cool. Wow.
dog, he's going off in this scene. I like that one too. Okay. That's how you innovate. I want to hear what he says in in response. Interesting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's working hard. That's really cool. When he says, uh, when he says a third year senpai, he's talking about third year of middle school, right? Not a third year in high school, please. Shine through. I need you to shine. I want him to shine so bad. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the show had more wrong with it than just you. More wrong than just you. Come on. Yeah, come on. Dog, I've low-key been rooting for this kid since they brought him back to us. Because you could just, like, he's just been doing very subtly. But you could tell he's really beating himself up about it. Seeing him cry now. Yes, you can. Excuse me. So you can, so yeah, you can catch them off guard. Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Not me about to get emotional for him. Oh, my gosh. Go for it. So you keep working on it. You don't quit.
It's tough. That's really tough. I had goosebumps. <laughs> I do. Dude, there's... Oh my gosh. Dude, this show is incredible. This show is incredible. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. He's got me emotional too. <laughs> For real, he's got me emotional too. Goodness, boy. The Got me a little misty-eyed, man. Oh, boy. Melt, man. Melt got me emotional in this episode, dude. Um, this was crazy <laughs> that his performance was so good. Oh my gosh. He did the damn thing. He did. Um, kind of took me aback. I got to like catch myself. Um, this was a good episode. This was a really good episode. This was a really, 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 really good episode. It's a really good episode really good episode it's a really good episode um dang like I catch myself um <laughs> I catch myself that was really good but I've never it's like it's this weird thing of like being I'm proud of him for everything that he went through leading him to like getting on sweet today and then having like reality hit you and him him facing it head on while trying to digest all of like these hurt feelings and recognizing just how he wasn't he wasn't what he was projecting but then to get to see him have this moment of prevailing right to see him have this moment of prevailing and finding this one thing and locking in 
and locking in and pouring putting everything into it and having people respond to it positively Ugh. this show man this show oh my goodness that i don't i don't think i got anything else um that one hit it did it hit so i'm gonna call it there this kid man this kid got me i'm gonna call it there thank you guys i uh, well before i wanted to say um with him i when i go back and edit i want to double check because when he said his third year senpai i'm hoping that it wasn't like he got into middle school and he was a first year in middle school and like some third year from high school. I don't know how he would even connect. So I'm hoping I'm hoping it was a middle schooler because that would just make it seem a lot less terrible than what it was, even though it probably it was still terrible. It, fe it felt terrible how he worded it and probably how he felt about it, where it's just like I got. Like some some other chick thought I was thought I was cute, took advantage of me, had had her way with me in a sense. He didn't he didn't say take taken advantage of. He said had, had she had her way with him. With him. So it, to me, like my brain is just like to be like 13, 12, and to have like some. 14 year old 15 year old like come on to you in theory like seven seventh grade me is like hell yeah dog older me is like no way it's the same thing whenever it's whenever you're in high school and you think like a teacher's hot all kids all kids do it and like high school me is like yeah 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 adult me is like no 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 so it's like one of those things like whenever it, like if i put myself into the brain of a seventh grader it might be a chance i might be like hey third years after me bro i think i had a situation like that where i was a freshman in high school and there was like a senior that liked me but um and and you you're just like whoa really huh um but adult me is like no no, no that's mm -mm, mm -mm. so when when I go edit, I'll I'll go look at it again, because if it was have a good one, you guys. I appreciate you guys. Have a good week. Have a good weekend, and hopefully, God willing, see you guys back here for season two, episode seven. So again, thank you. Appreciate you, and I'll see you. Peace out.